Guys, I'm going to attempt to explain this a little better. All right, this other, this other diagram, this other schematic can look a little confusing because I added this whole bypass circuit in. All right, you can you can still have your automatic block system work without this switch wired in, and without this positive from that center rail coming over to here. Whole this is so that you can energize this side of the relay by, or so this side of the relay is energized, and then with a flip of this closing of the switch, you also energize the other side, which in turn will energize your stop block continuously. Therefore, you can just flip the switch and run one train um, instead of, and not have uh, a train stop. Over here, here's the schematic without that incorporated into it. You simply have your control block. The train will, no matter what, a train will never stop in this control block. The only thing this control block is for is to isolate this outside rail, insulate and isolate this outside rail so that it works as a trigger. Um, so there is no power in this section of rail right here until you have the train come across and trigger it by jumping uh, power from this outside rail to this outside rail. Um, that in turn throws the relay positive to the stop block and off that train goes. Uh, and that's really all I'm doing here. There really isn't anything else to it. Uh, as far as the parts that I use, there's the bridge rectifier, the capacitor, the relay, the, um, what was it, the, the board terminal where the wire is attached to, and the circuit board itself. Here is, these are all purchased from Radio Shack very inexpensively. Hopefully you can read my handwriting. Okay, the relay, the bridge rectifier, the capacitor, the circuit board, and the board terminal. And again, that board terminal uh, are, is the blue terminal on the circuit board that the wires plug into. Okay, that's it. That's everything you need. It's very inexpensive. I believe it was well under $20 uh, for that whole circuit. Maybe around $10 or $15 for that whole circuit. I believe, if I remember correctly, the relay was the most expensive thing. So... Just show you how this works here again. Um, the um, the general, that 1862 general, will never stop. When it hits this control block, no matter what, whether there's a train in the stop block or not, that track is always live, always has power. You're just using that insulated section as a trigger. All right, off this train goes. Hits the stop block. As we come around, control block is hit, other train is released, and that train hits the stop block. The only difference, if I flip that defeat switch, will be that that stop block always has power, and a train can just run continuously. If I were to flip that now, uh, both trains would just keep running until one caught up with the other and crash. So that's the only point to wiring that can uh, that defeat switch in there. And hopefully that has given a little clarification to to how I did the wiring, how I did the how I did the circuit. Also, as someone pointed out to me, on the original diagram, if you watched my video, on the original schematic, uh, this capacitor was reversed. I apologize for that. Um, this, is, this is negative down here. Uh, obviously, that can't be correct. And that shows positive up here. So, on this new schematic that I drew, you can see that that is reversed, and this should be correct. Negative going up to the negative and the positive going to the positive. Um, I did try and clarify that on my, my circuit board, but since they're installed, it was kind of hard to see, but it does look like that is correct. Um, and again, over here, if you did want to use this circuit and you wanted to wire in a defeat switch, what you would do is you would come from this positive rail right here over to this part of the relay right here. <laughs> And and then you would just wire your switch in. You'd come around, 
put your switch in, and then you would come around here, and what that does is that lets you take positive from here off the throttle that is coming from this center rail and apply it to the other side of the relay at the same time, therefore defeating the relay. And that's it. Um, yeah, hopefully this uh, helps somebody out, and I, I hope you enjoyed it.